welcome back again. So on the carving this time I think arm and belly. Now I'm just uh, drawing a sort of diagonal line across there. Drawing a line around there where I want to sort of carve down to basically. So I'll go that first and then once I've done that I'll uh, I'll draw in some sort of belly carve idea. Still haven't decided on the jack plug yet. Um yeah I'm still to I'm still on the table <laughs> as it were. And um, we'll get into it eventually. Eventually. Yeah, but in the meantime, I think I'll just go on the carbon because I know exactly what I'm doing there. So let's just do that, let's fire on. on the spindle so that worked really well though. Quite pleased with that. I'll carry on. I've got a lot more sanding to do still. Just to sort of continue this round over all the way around. But yeah, to all intents and purposes it's coming great. Now then the belly carve. And this is gonna be quite deep as well. I want a nice deep belly carve so I'm gonna start off just drawing a simple line. So that's how that's the depth I want. Now, as usual, it sort of curves up at this end and the other end, so some sort of curves keep me guidance. Uh, so about here. They're just rough as hell, but it doesn't matter, it's just to give you a guide, so couple of curves there and there and then on the back of course um, probably wanted to come into about here somewhere so there'll be some sort of curve from here and come right up and, uh, something like that yeah this will as usual, this will probably change a lot, you know, as you go, but it's just to give a rough guide, give you some aim for it to start off with, and then, uh, you know, as you as you get close to where you want to be, then you can sort of just fill with it and sort of move it around and deeper or do whatever you want. But that's the rough line, so straight line along the, the, there, a little curve at each end, and then some sort of curve in at the back there, and just like that, and then just... Have at it with whatever tools you like, really. 
Yeah, I'll probably start, I'll probably start with hand tools anyway, and then just go from there. All right, let's crack on. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
so yeah, arm curved, arm curved done, belly curved done. Now it's just a lot of sanding, uh, fine tuning. There's a bit of uh, marks in here I want to get rid of. Um, a little tip for that: flat file. Uh, even though that's you'd think a round file because it's a curve, but I actually find a flat file just sweeping around with the curve actually does a lot better job at taking out little marks and things. Um, because a lot of the marks are generally caused by the round file um, and you might find that you'll make it worse. You know, if it's a big sweeping curve like that, um, yeah, you know, it's a big sweeping curve, like I said, the files are sort of going round. Um, I find the flat file actually does a much better job at taking out these marks and things. So, bits of that to do. Um, you know, there's like, there's a little bit of a sharp edge still here. Get all, that, get all these edges sort of smoothed off, get everything sort of blended, you know, basically blending the whole thing, all the curves and that, yeah, jack socket done, it's at a slight angle but it really works well, um, that's just finger sandpaper, keep going round and round and round, uh, smoothing it over and things, I've done it in line with this, this whole sort of skin of, you know, right angles to this, um, instead, uh, but no, that's great, I'm happy with that. Really happy. Um, so yeah, basically off camera I'll just keep on uh, fettling, meddling, sanding, tweaking, so I think it all just right. Um, so yeah, I'll leave that here. That'll be a big sort of belly and arm curve episode. When I come back, I think I'll have to get onto this. Need to level, crown, polish the frets and things. Uh, finish doing you know, any sort of sanding on the face, get the logo, get the logo done. Uh, and basically it's everything ready for getting some finish on. So yeah. Now, um, if anybody's interested too, Cosmo, Cosmo the cat. Uh, last time I mentioned giving him meds and stuff. He's been having a urinary problem. So he's been peeing fine, but then he'll keep going around and keep trying to pee. Like he's got irritation, feels like he needs to go. And he's getting really, really quite distressed about it, you know. And he'll go on and on for hours. So that's why they've, they've been at the, uh, having a med, giving meds and stuff. We thought I'd try, uh, of course, antibiotics in case it was just a simple infection. But um, no, it still happened after that. Um, so then I had to get a urine sample, which I did. I managed to fill one of those sort of uh, specimen jars that the doctors give you <laughs> with his urine. <laughs> Um took that to the vets, uh, kidneys are great, no infection, no stones, no gravel, nothing. It's all looking really good. So she thinks that he's probably just got a bit of cystitis, which just means inflammation inside the bladder. Like. So the, um, just give him painkiller as and when required, and that's, that'll do. So happy days, all good news, bit of relief. But yeah. You always worry when your pets are ill, don't you? They're part of the family, aren't they? So, anyway. Anyway. So I'm going to leave this here. Um, I'm going to come back, like I said. We'll get on with the uh, fret stuff, get the logo done and things like that. Um, and then we'll look at getting on to the finishing. So, anyway, thanks for watching. hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, feel free to like, comment, etc. as usual. And I'll see you all again real soon. Cheers.